Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is the Hybert Pasta Rocket Engine. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is a pasta tubes, yeast, a mason jar, hydrogen peroxide, a lighter, and adult supervision. So here are the ingredients we're going to be using. We're going to use our yeast um, right there. We got a mason jar, which I already have an eighth of an inch uh, hole drilled in. Um, so I did that from another experiment. So that was already done. A lighter, uh, hydrogen peroxide, and then the, the pasta that has the flat end. So you want to test uh, which end will stand straight up uh, because not all of them are exactly flat. So once you get that set up there, uh, you'll be ready to go. So to set up the experiment, uh, we're going to pour about two-thirds of the cup or the mason jar full of the hydrogen peroxide. And then once you get that there, um, then you're going to take a quarter teaspoon of the yeast and you're going to um, put that into the jar. And then you're going to mix that up. And so once you get that all mixed up, um, you're going to put the top on right away and balance your pasta and then light the top of the pasta and then your hybrid pasta rocket engine is ready to go and it's firing off turn off the lights so you can see and i'll explain the science behind it and the science behind this is the oxygen flow is generated from the hydrogen peroxide the hydrogen peroxide molecules looks a lot like water molecules only it has an extra oxygen atom when you add the yeast to the peroxide, it acts as a catalyst and it breaks off that extra oxygen, which bubbles up and out of the hole of the lid that we made. So it's really important that you don't screw the lid of the jar on, like I said earlier. Just rest the lid without screwing that ring on top of the jar. Since there's no nozzle at the end of the pasta, the fluid's going to be flowing out slow at the exit of the tube. We're not able to adjust the flow at all. It's flowing at the rate it's being generated inside the jar. This particular rocket is a hyper rocket, which means it uses a solid fuel source, the hypercarbons in the pasta, and a liquid or gas oxidizer, which is in the oxygen from the peroxide reaction. The nice thing about this particular rocket is you can shut it off if things go wrong which you can't do with a solid state rocket like an SS rocket, a model rocket, or most fireworks. Since the fuel is not a solid state, there's no big explosion and hazard like there would be with a liquid fuel rocket. Imagine a tank of liquid hydrogen. That would be a big explosion just waiting to happen. The same type of rocket engine, this hybrid, was used in the Spaceship One. So I'm going to do it one more time here with a black background so uh, maybe get a little bit better... Uh, uh, view, put the yeast in, uh, give it a stir, put the lid on without screwing the top on. It helps if you have your pasta preset to make sure it's got a flat end. Give it a light and um, you could hold, if you wait too long, you might have to hold the, the top part of the lid down so the, the pressure doesn't push, push the pasta off. And then once it goes and starts releasing the oxygen, uh, then you don't have to worry from that point. And it is safe because it isn't a liquid oxygen. Um, and your fuel source is from the pasta, so um, you can put it out anytime you want by just uh, uh, knocking the pasta off, but it'll go out by itself at the end, as you've seen before, and it'll do the, the same this time. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Remember to click thumbs up or to share this video, and uh, thanks for watching.